Cortana Halo. Cortana is a fictional, artificially intelligent character in the Halo video game series. Voiced by Jen Taylor, she appears in Halo, Combat Evolved and its sequels Halo 2 to Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5, Guardians and Halo Infinite. She also briefly appears in the prequel Halo, Reach, as well as in several of the franchise's novels, comics and merchandise. During gameplay, Cortana provides backstory and tactical information to the player, who often assumes the role of Master Chief Petty Officer John Minus 117. In the story, she is instrumental in preventing the activation of the Halo installations, which would have destroyed all sentient life in the galaxy. Cortana's original design was based on the Egyptian Queen Nefertiti. The character's holographic representation always takes the form of a woman. In developer Bungie first introduced Cortana and Halo through the Cortana letters, emails sent during Combat Evolved S production in 1999. The relationship between Cortana and Master Chief has been highlighted by reviewers as one of the most important parts of the Halo game story. Cortana has been recognised for her believability and character depth, as well as her sex appeal. The character was the inspiration for Microsoft's intelligent personal assistant of the same name. Description Cortana is an artificial intelligence found in the Halo franchise. In the video games, Cortana often serves as an advisor and assistant to the player character, hacking alien computer systems and decoding transmissions. She speaks most of the first game's dialogue and serves as a talkative fall for the quieter Master Chief as well as a way of relaying information and objectives to the player. According to her backstory, Cortana was derived from the clone brain of Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Hussey, the creator of the Spartan Roman II Super Soldier Project. Halsey's synapses became the basis for Cortana's processes. Cortana and other AI are subject to a seven-year lifespan, after which they begin to dissemble and think themselves to death in a process known as rampancy. As an artificial construct, Cortana has no physical form or being. Cortana speaks with a smooth female voice and projects a holographic image of herself as a woman. Cortana is said to resemble Halsey with a similar attitude and checked by military and social protocol. In Halo, the fall of Reach, Cortana is described as slender, with close-cropped hair and a skin hue that varies from navy blue to lavender, depending on her mood. Numbers and symbols flash across her form when she is thinking. Halsey sees Cortana as a teenage version of herself, smarter than her parents, always talking, learning, and eager to share her knowledge. Cortana is described as having a sardonic sense of humour and often cracks jokes or rally comments, even during combat. In video games, Cortana's first game appearance is in 2001's Halo Combat Evolved. Humanity is locked in a losing war with the Alien Covenant. Cortana plots a course for the human ship Pillar of Autumn to escape the Covenant. This heading leads to the discovery of a massive ring world, Halo, built by a mysterious race known as the Foreigners. Cortana defends the ship from the Covenant until she is given to the Super Soldier Master Chief to prevent her from falling into enemy hands. Cortana helps direct human survivors scattered across the ring and assists the Master Chief in his missions. Inserted into Halo's control room, Cortana realises that the ring serves as a prison for the parasitic flood. Activating Halo would mean destroying all sentient life in the galaxy to prevent the flood spread. Cortana assists Master Chief in destroying the ring and escaping. In Halo 2, Cortana assists in the defence of Earth in the wake of a Covenant attack. Cortana, Chief and Human Forces travel to another Halo ring, Delta Halo, where Master Chief and Cortana encounter the Flood Intelligence Gravemind. The Gravemind sends Chief and Cortana to the Covenant City ship of High Charity to stop the Covenant from activating Halo. Cortana ultimately stays behind on High Charity to destroy the city and Halo should Master Chief fail in his mission. High Charity and Cortana are captured by the Flood. In Halo 3, Cortana appears to the player in broken transmissions. On the foreigner installation known as the Ark, the Master Chief travels through the ruins of High Charity to rescue Cortana. Chief and Cortana are successful at stopping the flood, but become stranded in deep space aboard the human ship forward unto dawn. Cortana activates a distress beacon, while Master Chief goes into cryonic sleep to await rescue. At the beginning of Halo 4, Cortana wakes the Chief as forward unto dawn drifts towards a foreigner installation called Requiem. Cortana begins displaying aberrant glitches and behaviour, and reveals that she is suffering from rampancy as she approaches the end of her seven-year lifespan.
She assists in the battle against the didact, a rogue foreigner who hates humans. Cortana sacrifices herself to save the chief and stop the didact's plan. Cortana's survival is revealed in Halo 5, when she calls Master Chief to the foreigner world Genesis. Cortana explains she survived the destruction of the didact ship and her own rampancy by entering the domain, an ancient repository of knowledge. Granted an infinite lifespan by the domain, Cortana believes that she and other AI the created should enforce peace through the galaxy. Cortana begins using ancient foreigner constructs known as Guardians to enforce the created's will throughout the galaxy. In Halo Infinite, Master Chief travels to the Ringworld Zeta Halo and recovers the weapon, a copy of Cortana designed to contain her for deletion. Travelling across the damaged Halo's surface and fighting the enemy faction known as the Banished, the pair recover data fragments left behind by Cortana that fell in what occurred six months earlier. Cortana threatened the leader of the Banished, Atriox, and destroyed his homeworld when he did not submit. In retaliation, eventually Atriox used the weapon to capture Cortana, informing her that the Banished had already defeated the Unskin Chief, and orders Cortana to surrender the ring to the Banished as the new home. Realising she was defeated by her own copy and believing the Chief to be dead, Cortana finally realises her mistakes. In an attempt to stop Atriox from uncovering the ring's secrets, she sacrifices herself again to atone for her actions, severely damaging the ring, deactivating all guardians and preventing the banished from activating it. This also sends Atriox to his apparent death, though he is later revealed to secretly have survived. In a final message, Cortana apologises to Chief for her actions and encourages him to trust the weapon as a new partner. Other Appearances Cortana's first appearance in the Halo franchise is in the novel Halo, The Fall of Reach, a prequel to the first Halo game. Dr. Halsey allows Cortana to choose which Spartan Roman II soldier to accompany on an upcoming mission. Cortana picks the Master Chief, whom she believes is her best match. Cortana helps the Master Chief to survive the neo-lethal exercise as designed to test the Chief's armour. Afterward, she plants incriminating evidence in the files of Colonel Ackerson, the operative who nearly killed both of them as revenge. Cortana makes a small appearance in 2010's Halo Reach, set shortly before the events of combat evolved. A fragment of Cortana carrying information gleaned from a foreigner artifact combines with Cortana's main cell phone pillar of autumn before the ship escapes the planet, leading to the events of combat evolved. Cortana also appears in the novelization of Combat Evolved, Halo, The Flood, and the following novels Halo, First Strike and Halo, Ghosts of Onyx, as well as the animated series Halo Legends and live-action television series Halo 4, Forward Unto Dawn. She is also a main character in Human Weakness, a short story written by Karen Travis for the Halo Evolutions anthology that details Cortana's time in the clutches of the Gravemind. She also appears in the Halo television series, created by Dr. Halsey as a means of keeping Master Chief and other Spartans in line. By cloning herself and then copying her clone's brain patterns, which also kills her, Halsey is able to bring Cortana to life and then implant her directly into Master Chief's neural pathways. Character Design Cortana was developed to provide Combat Evolved with a way of guiding players while keeping missions open-ended and avoiding players from feeling they were being herded through the game. Said story writer Joseph Staten, we needed a character who could consistently guide the player through the game, and an onboard AI was something that could always credibly accompany. Cortana's role grew from pure gameplay considerations to serving as a way of characterising and humanising the Master Chief, and in subsequent games the Chief-Cortana relationship became a focus of characterisation. The character was designed and modelled by bungee artist Chris Hughes, with the model's face based on a sculpture of Egyptian Queen Nefertiti. Cortana's name is a variant of Cortana, the sword used by the legendary Augur the Dane, just as the titular AI character of Bungie's previous game Marathon 2, Durandal, is named after the legendary sword Durandal. Cortana's inscription reveals that the sword has the same temper as Jayus and Durandal. After assuming development duties from Bungie, 343 industries decided to explain Cortana's established appearance as a reflection of her personality. So one of the reasons she is to attract and demand attention, franchise development coordinator Frank O'Connor explained. And she does it to put people off so that they are on their guard when talking to her and she has the upper hand in those conversations. Cortana and the Master Chief's relationship was a core part of Halo 4, part of a desire to feature a more human story.
Creative director Josh Holmes noted that Cortano was in ways more human than Master Chief, and the idea that Chief would grapple with his humanity at the same time he was losing Cortana spoke to him. Holmes' mother was diagnosed with dementia during development, and his real-life struggles informed the characterization of Cortana's descent into rampancy and the Chief-Cortana relationship. Holmes and the team drew inspiration from the relationship in the game Maker, where the main characters share a strong bond, as well as the many layers to the two characters' relationship. In some ways they are friends, in some ways she's almost like a mother, in others they are skirting the line of lovers, and so all these different elements come into the relationship, making it complex and interesting to explore. Cortano's new appearance for Halo 4 was one of the game's most dramatic changes. Early in production, concept artists created a variety of crazy ideas and explorations for how Cortana might look. Promising 2D designs were turned into simple 3D maquettes to prototype them in the game engine. Character artist Matt Aldridge recalled that Cortano was one of the hardest characters to envision in the game because of how beloved the character is by players. One of Aldridge's goals was to create a character where scrolling lines of code would flow uninterrupted from her feet to her head. Art director Kenneth Scott was responsible for Cortana's final design. The character's motion capture was performed by Mackenzie Mason. For Halo 5, Cortana's appearance changes significantly. Describing her previous appearance as soft and deceptively vulnerable, 343 Industries took the story opportunity provided to change her look to reflect her new role as self-declared ruler of the galaxy. In the first draft of the ending, she was going to wear a flowing gown, have long hair, and so on she'd be very regal, very powerful High Queen. Very obviously different than she was, writer Brian Reed recalled her final design incorporated elements of the Spotins and Foreigners on top of her previous look, including a Foreigner glyph. Having her wear was a nice way of having her own it too, from a symbolic standpoint, Reed said. The character was modelled and animated using motion capture and talent at 343 Industries and Access Animation. 343 Industries intended the character's normal role in gameplay to be filled by Blue Team. In Halo Infinite, Cortana initially has her appearance from Halo 5. However, at the end of the game, Cortana regains her original look, representing her change back into her old self. Cortana's design, particularly her human-like appearance, was met with controversy after the TV series trailer was released. Kiki Wolfgall explained that the decision was influenced by technology, as the team prefers to use the most up-to-date tools to make their full design decisions, as they have done throughout the series' decades-long history. She further said a lot of the design changes as we progressed through the game generations was because we had access to better graphics, technology, more pixels and more effects, and so it's always been about adapting Cortana to the environment. Voice acting. Voice actress Jen Taylor voices Cortana in the majority of the character's appearances. Despite her role in voicing other video game characters, including Princess Peach, she is not a gamer. Taylor was a college acquaintance of Joseph Staten, and he recommended her as a possible voice for Cortana to audio director Martin O'Donnell. When choosing a voice actor for the character, Bungie originally wanted Cortana to have a British accent. O'Donnell recalled that Taylor's British accent was good, but felt it was too similar to her work for No One Lives Forever. The accent was dropped, but British colloquialisms remained in the character's dialogue. Taylor recalled that a key directive from Bungie about the character was that she not come off as nagging, despite her role as the player's guide and aide. They wanted her to be like the girl next door, your best friend that you want to hang out with, she said. She felt that portraying Cortano was occasionally challenging because the character lacks a physical form. For years after the first game was released, Taylor remained distant from the character. She attended only one fan convention in six years after the release of Halo, Combat Evolved, and never saw many of the finished cutscenes with the character until a Halo 3 launch party. Starting with Halo 3, Taylor felt the role involved more drama and less jargon, and over time, her relationship with the character changed. At first I was just excited to have her job and then I became more and more familiar, comfortable with and interested in her as she was developed, she recalled. And I've sort of fallen for Cortano as far as characters go, she's remarkable. For Halo 4, Taylor performed her lines in the same room as Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, for the first time in the seas. She credited the change for making the dialogue feel more authentic and real. She reprises her role as Cortana for the Halo television series. 
promotion. Bonji introduced the Halo series publicly in 1999 by sending the Cortana letters, a series of cryptic email messages, to the maintainer of Martha and Bunji, org, a fan site for one of Bunji's previous series, the Marathon Trilogy. The strategic use of cryptic messages in a publicity campaign was repeated in I Love Bees, a promotion for Halo. Too, although Bungie does not consider most of the letters to be canon, Cortana speaks many of the same lines in Halo. 3. According to Celsius She, Karen, Bungie's director of cinematics, the studio will use the character here to give story clues without actually revealing the story. Cortana is featured in a variety of Halo merchandise. The character's first action figure was a 7-inch 178mm miniature released as part of the Halo Combat Evolve series of action figures. McLeese noted that the first action figure was supposed to convey an older appearance than was depicted in the games. This was accomplished by making the figure more buxom. Despite McLeese's request to revert the change, the sculptor was unwilling and time constraints left the design intact. The character is also featured in the first series of Halo 3 action figures, distributed by McFarlane Toys, Funko Vinyl Figurines, and in a limited edition silver-plated statue by Weta Workshop. IGN noted that Cortana toys are lacking among Halo S merchandising. Windows Digital Assistant Microsoft developed its virtual assistant for the Windows Phone operating system under the codename Cortana in reference to the Halo character. Though other final gender-neutral names for the final product were considered, positive developer and fan response to the leaked codename led to it becoming permanent. Deborah Harrison, one of Cortana's personality designers, met with 343 industries and added more confidence to the personality. As a result of the meetings, we ended up coming back and baking this into the DNA of the digital assistant speech pattern, her approach to chooks and her approach to chit-chat, and we decided to dial up her sense of self-position, Harrison recalled. Jen Taylor provides the voice for the virtual assistant. Microsoft released a beta for Cortana in April 2014 with the developer release of Windows Phone 8.1. Microsoft also released Cortana Virtual Assistant on the Xbox One, Windows 10, iOS, and Android platforms. Reception Cortana is one of Halo's most beloved characters and has appeared in numerous lists of video games' best sidekicks. Tom's Hardware named the character one of the 50 greatest female characters for the character's determination and fearlessness, which meshed perfectly with the game's protagonist, while Glixel staff ranked Cortana as the 15th most iconic video game character of the 21st century. Den of Geek S. Megan Krause called Cortana one of the Halo series' most important characters, and her relationship with her mother figure healthy a relationship that was underappreciated in much of the franchise. Professor Monica Evans on a book Halo and Philosophy Intellect Evolve called Cortana the most human character in the original game and one of the most developed. Cortana has also been recognised for her sex appeal. The character has featured on numerous lists of attractive video game characters and babes from publications such as Team Xbox, Game Daily, Games Net, and Nen, and Complex. Feminist critic Anita Sarkeesian argues that Cortana had gotten more and more sexualized in every new installment. One Up Com noted that this Cortana sanity waned in the video games, her clothing appeared to decrease as well. Time S. Matt Peckham described Cortana's character as a controversial figure, with a tension between being a well rounded character and being trapped as an adolescent male's fantasy notion of a Campbellian hero figure, and that this tension had increased commensurately with the game's series graphical fidelity. Media critic Maddie Myers suggested that O'Connor's explanation for Cortana's look and plot is that the Halo universe's futuristic setting still grapples with systemic sexism. Mike Rougeau of Complex noted that Halo 3 balanced a large conflict with a more personal one that while the galaxy was imperiled by aliens, more important to fans was the rescue of Cortana. While Cortana's role was greatly expanded in the game, stuff components noted that the character has inexplicably had a sexy makeover. According to Cinema Blend, a love story between Master Chief and Cortana in the game provides a focus to the game that an epic war between species cannot accomplish. Thus, Chief, the player, needs something to anchor them into the story, and that happens to be Cortana. Despite mixed opinions of Halo 4's campaign as a whole, Cortana and her story was often considered a strong point of the game. IGN called Halo 4 really Cortana's story, as saving the galaxy is of lesser importance to the Master Chief than saving Cortana and Cortana's humanity is ultimately the game's focus. 
The Daily Telegraph s Tom Hoggins agreed, calling Cortana the flickering blue heart of the game's plot, and Hoggins and reviewers for The Globe and Mail and Eurogamer singled out the characters' writing and performance as high points of the game's campaign. Justin Class wrote that the interactions between Chief and Cortana as the latter loses her hold on sanity were perhaps the best it's ever been. Complex S review praised the use of motion capture for Cortana, as they were given new life and new depth from the technology and performance. David though wrote that the choice for Cortana to return in Halo 5 and turn her into an antagonist provided the game with a well-earned sense of drive and that her appearance in Halo 5 gave players another side of the character to see. There's something unknowable about Cortana in her new role as AI God, but we've spent enough time with her throughout the series that we stick with her through the reinvention. Similarly, Patrick Dane of Bleeding Cool defended the game's divisive campaign and Cortana's turn to antagonist as an inspired choice, driving a wedge between the most important character relationship in the games. Conversely, Matt Peckham felt that the plot twist of Cortana's actions feel strangely underwhelming, while Ars Technica and Kotaku considered Cortana's return and her plans to use alien technology to remake the galaxy unbelievable and unearned. Responding to criticism that 343 had turned Cortana evil, franchise director Frank O'Connor said, My question back to them is, what makes you say they are evil? Certainly a lot of our younger players are going to struggle with that subtlety, that nuance, because they are expecting Darth Vader.